President Trump on Tuesday will formally launch his re-election campaign in what may be an uphill battle to persuade voters to give him four more years in office. Kicking it all off, a rally in Orlando, Florida tonight, a sign of just how important the state is to the president's re-election hopes. We love our country. We love our president. Experts say the Trump of 2020 will still be flaunting his unorthodox style, eager to bash his Democratic opponents. Every day the Democrat Party is becoming more and more unhinged. And promote his signature crackdown on immigration. Everyone's coming through Mexico, including drugs, including human trafficking. We're going to stop it. Despite his polarizing policies, the president is betting a strong U.S. economy will boost his chances to win. Our economy is doing great, number one in the world. But there will be plenty of challenges, including the aftermath of a probe into Russian interference in the 2016 election. Critics also say his presidential style, marked by incessant tweets and name-calling, a total fraud, and I can no longer call her Pocahontas, has undermined some Americans' confidence ahead of the November 2020 election. And nobody is expecting Trump to change. Aides who had urged him early in his White House tenure to tone down his style are long gone. Trump has also unsettled business and farm groups with his use of tariffs and trade disputes with China and some allies. Some opinion polls have shown Trump running consistently behind his main Democratic challengers, such as former Vice President Joe Biden, in key battleground states. And while Tuesday's announcement will formalize Trump's bid, some critics say the president has never stopped campaigning, frequently holding his Make America Great Again rallies across the U.S. in the last two and a half years to keep his voter base charged up.